Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Rev, and this is Everspace and their new expansion, Encounters. Now Encounters, basically they didn't add anything to the end game. What they did was add a bunch of stuff that gets you to that end game. As you can see, also we have a brand new ship. Now it's limited in certain aspects. You only get one main weapon, and you might run into uh, one of their new factories where you can have an additional first weapon slot put in. Maybe, but I just did a whole run where that didn't happen. So let's take a quick look over here at the perks. And you can see, you know, pretty, you know, it's pretty much the same as the other one. And then when it comes to weapons, they have the lightning gun is the new weapon that they put in. Whoops. And then of course we have all the various ship colors purple people eater or and they put these in and I, you don't have to unlock them but they are and this of course will work on any ship Ooh, I like that one we'll stick with that and the other big thing that they added was side missions so we've got some different guys here and I've already got these recorded and we'll jump to them here after I we go out and I show you a little bit of what's going on here with the new ship. But anyways, we've got uh, Okar, we've got a bounty hunter, um, we've got a guy that just wants us basically to go out and do scans, and then he gives us upgrades. And then we have basically a bunch of really shady characters. Alrighty folks, wow. Let's try out the new lightning gun here, give you guys an idea. Now the biggest thing with the lightning gun is its distance it acts just like the laser come here dude hold still but being able to hit anything that's actively moving you're more likely to be able to do that with the laser but that's probably the only real drawback and you know it's like that in the, uh, with everything in this game for every positive there's a negative so the attack is good when it you're nice and close but when you are fighting any kind of distance it's not so good so alrighty folks and probably the best piece of equipment hands down that they put in the game it's called a drone disassembler I've got a mark two here and I'm in the first area so they're not that difficult to build and watch oh look at all that and you can do this and it works on everything except the really big ships their drones the shield drones and stuff that they use you can't get but anything that is a bomber a marauder any of those you can zip them just like I did right there. Alrighty, folks, so here is the factory space station. Sometimes they're turned on, sometimes you gotta do a little time thing where you fly around and turn on these little green things here so you can power it up. And once you do, you get a couple options. First, we got the refinery where you can turn whatever you have into something different what you need to make, what you might need to make. And those are usually pretty much the same. Right here is if you're damaged at all, you can fly through this and it will fix your damage. Oh, oh. I guess he's out. Anyways, right here is our tuning option. So these are always random. I was hoping to get uh, add a weapon slot to your main weapons, but we didn't. Let's see, we can add a consumable slot, and it only lets you do one, and it's usually only for the lifetime of this run. So I guess we need a consumable slot. 
All right, folks, I wanted to show you a mission. We're going to do Kylie. Said that this is her last task for me. I have to destroy a power core at JB Refinery that has been acting up. So it's like one of the factory refineries. It'll be interesting to see what happens when we set everything off. You have to be fast about it. go okay the core is down there but before we do the core because I have no idea if it's going to set things off let's see if we can get a cool upgrade energy core overcharge temporary grants unlimited energy Meh, only, yeah but only for 10 minutes collision dampeners damage amplifier oh <sighs> You know, I do run into a lot of things. I suppose we'll do that. Real quick check, see if we need anything from the refinery. Ooh, don't want to use any of that. Okay, so let's see what we're supposed to do here. Doesn't sound good. It is a self destruction sequence. Oh. Get away fast. Woo. What the hell was that? The core just exploded. The odds of that occurring directly upon your arrival are too slim to consider it a coincidence. So Carly really did set me up. Open a channel to her. She must have altered her frequency. I cannot get through. Uh-huh. Well, we still have her signature. Let's track her down and get to the bottom of this. Alrighty, guys. And this gentleman here, Throng, is another big part of the various things that you can do. I really wanted to show them here to you. Because, right here, he has services. Now... Well, he has you just basically go around and scan things, you know, and you make money. It's all good. This is more important. You can buy blueprints. And you can see here, and you get Viridian energy just by blowing stuff up. Is the closest way I can tell right now. But we got a goo gun, neutron cannon, plasma thrower, randomized mod, and shield piercing mod. And then you can do modifications here. And I've got a beam laser. So let's see. We could enhance it. Which will throw all kinds of weird stat bonuses on it. So we let's see. Whole. So it's, it's pretty. The only thing I have on it is range mods. So let's see what it does. Boom. Wow. Look at that. Shield DPS. All right. Sweet. And then we've got, of course, our drone destabilizer. One of the best new additions. And it will let me re-engineer it. All previously installed mods will be removed. And three random mods will be installed for the price of two or any energy. Okay. Ooh, what do we have now? So energy consumption is way... Energy consumption... Oh, so it's way, way down. Oh, awesome. That's good because I've been having issues with that. This ship likes to overheat a bit. doesn't seem to run with a very good energy. So... Currently, again, we're scanning things for him, but that's just one of the many ways you can upgrade things now, besides the factory. Alrighty, folks, so there you go. There is an overview of the new encounters. You know, it would have been nice if they would have, you know, added some... Something more to the end game, maybe more story elements. I mean, you know... These guys are entertaining, and it does make doing the big laps that it takes to finally get to the point where you can uh, end the game by getting all of your DNA stuff. In. Woo! Now that's the other point. I'm glad I could show you guys. 
it's only 9.99 and again it has really added a lot to the uh, playable replayability of the game because you know there's only so much you can do keep building your ship this ship i'm not quite sure they did what they did with it because it put they put uh definite limitations on it but there's no real bonus you get the ship isn't really faster faster or more maneuverable than other ships but if we go in here to what we can actually build you're gonna see my favorite gun is missing as well as the uh blaster that they have so a couple of the really like the two best weapons in my opinion in the game you can't even use on the ship you're stuck with the lightning gun thermal shock rifle pulse uh pulse laser coil gun i mean me not quite sure why they did that but i'm sure they have a reason sure sounded like it when i was talking to the tester on live stream you know the devs do have a definite vision for the game hopefully they're going to add more content as always, I'd like to thank you for watching. Please like, favorite, and subscribe so we can keep bringing you more and more of this cool content. As always, I'm The Rev. If you want to see more of this game, just check out Indie Contact. Of course, there will be a link to the playlist. So, please keep your heads down. You're lightening up. And I'll see you again. Real damn soon.